talk about the next division that is mitosis and first understand the meaning of the word the meaning of word mitose means thread and osis means state this means we are talking about a division in which there are threads which are formed and these threads are actually spindle fibers if you are able to recall a mitosis where the nucleus divides by constriction no spindle fiber formation takes place and that is why we call that division as a mitosis so mitosis would be a division where actual spindle fiber formation take, would take place that is those threads now the scientists who explained this process strasburger explained the process of mitosis in plants and fleming explained the same process of mitosis in animals that is animal cells term mitosis term mitosis was also given by fleming now in which type of cells does this division take place this division takes place in somatic cells and those somatic cells can be haploid as well as diploid so it takes place in somatic cells and these somatic cells can be haploid and diploid now in many places we write that it takes place in somatic cells but mitosis also takes place in germ cells if you are able to recall the process of spermatogenesis and oogenesis in these processes that is gamete formation or gametogenesis there are three steps the first is multiplication phase then is growth phase and then last is maturation phase maturation phase is when meiosis takes place growth which the name tells us where the cell grows and the first one that is multiplication is again mitotic division so it also takes place in germinal cells during or this is the division in germinal cells as multiplication phase during multiplication phase in germinal cells during multiplication phase so the most common type of cells where this division is seen are somatic cells and many a times that is why this division is also known as somatic division but we have to remember that the same division also takes place in germinal cells during the multiplication phase as a result of mitotic division which we will understand after we complete the process two daughter cells are formed and these two daughter cells have same number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell and that is why this division that is mitosis is also known as equational division the reason why it is known as equational division is the same as we just now said that two daughter cells which are formed they have the same chromosome number as that of the uh, parent cell we will understand this once we complete all the stages what are the stages of mitosis so let us write down the stages first stages include first karyokinesis and again karyon word means nucleus and kinesis means the division so here it is the nuclear division which is going to take place nuclear division is completed in four sub phases that is prophase then metaphase third is anaphase and the last is telophase after this the nucleus would undergo division 
After karyokinesis, now the cell will undergo cytokinesis. That is cytoplasmic division. So now cytoplasm would divide resulting into formation of two daughter cells. Before we take up all the steps, let us briefly understand what is going to happen. If this is a cell having two N chromosomes, that is, we are talking of a diploid cell. We have to remember that before the cell divides, it has undergone interface. So this is cell after interface. And what has happened in interface is the cell has prepared itself for division. In G1, it prepared itself for S. In S, the DNA replicated. In G2, the cell is ready to divide. That means it has completed all those preparatory things which are required for the cell to divide. And here we are talking of chromosome number as 2N and C value as 4C. So, this is 2L chromosome number. When the cell divides by mitotic division, we would get two daughter cells having 2N and 2M. This is going to happen because of splitting of the chromosome. When during S phase, the chromosome got the DNA copied, its original DNA and the copy DNA. After that, these arms, they get separated. We call them sister chromatids. And these two arms, they are still attached at the primary constriction or the centrovia. During mitotic division, these two will get separated and that means this is going to separate from here. And that is how the chromosome number is going to become 2N in each of the daughter cells. And here the C value will be 2C. Here the C value will be 2C because now they are getting one chromosome with its DNA content. So this is the brief thing that we have talked of. Now let us start with the actual stages. Let us now draw the stages. The first thing that we are drawing is an interface cell and we are talking about an animal cell. After we complete the stages, we will see what difference is there between the mitotic division which takes place in animal cell and plant cell. So here we are talking of an animal cell. This is a typical animal cell and during cell division diagrams, we do not draw anything else but those structures which are required or are essential for this division. And this is a large nucleus. This wall which I am drawing is the nuclear membrane. And we can just show it like this. But to avoid confusion, this is the double membrane nuclear membrane and the space that we see between these pieces these are the nuclear pores so this is nuclear membrane we don't have to label it but let us do it in the first step itself that later on we don't have to label those so these this is nuclear pore and as we said we are talking of an animal cell, we will draw the centrosome. So here we are showing these centrioles. These centrioles have already replicated in S phase. And for our understanding, we will take a fixed number of chromosomes. So this is an interphase cell. That means the cell has completed interphase. 2n is equal to 4, we are taking as diploid number so that we can keep a track of these chromosomes. And these chromosomes are in the form of threads or chromatin fibers. So these threads are chromatin fibers. So we have 
take a refix number just to keep a track of everything. This is 2n is equal to 4 here. Now the cell enters the multiplication phase or the mitotic division phase. The first thing is karyokinesis. And in karyokinesis, the first one is prophase. There are so many changes which take place in prophase and that is why we divide it into early prophase and late prophase. So now let us see what happens in early prophase. In early prophase, early prophase, there are changes which are like the nuclear membrane is going to dissociate. Endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, basically all membranes, they start to dissociate into their smaller fragments. But as I said in the beginning, here we're we'll talking of only the main parts. So we show the nuclear membrane sort of dissociating and as compared to this, now it appears as if it is disappearing. It is dissociating, it is breaking into its fragments. This is part one. Centrioles which have split, they start to migrate towards the two poles and from the centrioles arise, start to arise small fibers. So let us show one centriole here and the other one which is migrating towards the other pole. Next. From these centrioles, small fibers would start to appear, which we would show in the late phase or late prophase. Chromactin fibers, four in number here, they start to condense. And when they condense, we are going to see the chromosome-like structures. They are becoming thicker and we are going to see these structures now. As compared to these threads, now the distinct shape of chromosome is visible. So, what are the changes which are taken place in early prophase? Nuclear membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, all membrane bound structures, their membranes start to dissociate. And that is why the nuclear membrane is disappearing here. Centrioles which split during S phase, now, they move towards the two poles and from this centriole ar start arising small fibers. Chromatin fibers start to condense. So, let us write down these changes in early prophase. Nuclear membrane, ER membrane, Golgi membrane, they dissociate. Then, Centriole migrate to opposite poles. And the last one here is chromatin fibers condense. This is early prophase. Now, the next thing is going to be late prophase. So what is going to happen in late prophase is by late prophase the nuclear membrane and all these membranes they would have completely disappeared because of their dissociation. So here we are not going to see any membrane. What we would see is the centriole which is at one pole and the second one has also reached the other pole. From this centriole start to arise fibers in the early prophase itself. These fibers are of two types. Some smaller fibers and some bigger fibers. These bigger fibers, they are actually running from one end to the other end like this. And these are the spindle fibers. And this is what is responsible for the name mitosis. Because we said in the beginning, mitos means thread, osis means stick. So, these smaller fibers, they are known as aster rays. And this is the centriole. These two things together, 
known as aster. So in case of an animal cell, there are two asters formed at the pores. And that is why mitotic division in animal cells is known as amphiastro. This is the late probe phase. There are two asters formed. One at each pole. What is the aster made up of? It is made up of centriole and the smaller rays. That is aster rays. These two things together make an aster. In animal cell, there are two asters formed. That is why the division is known as amphiastra. In plant cells, there is no centriole. That means there is no aster formation. There we will start calling it an astral division. Well, coming back to this, these long fibers, these are the spindle fibers. And these spindle fibers are made up of tubulin protein. Now, where are the chromosomes? These spindle fibers have already attached to the chromosomes. And we will see what exactly is happening here. These spindle fibers, they are attached to these chromosomes. And let us keep a track. We are drawing four chromosomes so that we are able to show their number. Whether the daughter cells get the same number or not. <coughs> a quick reminder to ourselves. Each chromosome is bringing two DNAs, rather double DNA. We can show it like this also or we can show two arms, that is sister chromatids. So here we would show these two arms, but these two arms are close to each other. So this will help us remember that each chromosome is having double DNA, that is during S phase, the DNA replication which took place. Now, in the next stage, all these chromosomes are going to come on the equatorial plane. How do they come on the equatorial plane? That is done by these spindle fibers. See, here, the spindle fiber is attached to this chromosome. This part of the spindle fiber is going to contract more, pulling the chromosome towards the middle part. Here, this part of the spindle fiber is going to contract more so that it can pull it here. So as a result of this differential contractions of spindle fibers, all chromosomes, they will come at the equatorial plane in the next phase, that is metaphase. So what has happened here? Two asters are formed. Spindle fibers formed. And the reason this entire structure is known as spindle apparatus, which includes two asters and the spindle fibers. The spindle fibers, they are called spindle fibers because of the shape. At the two poles it is narrow and in the middle it is the wider. The widest part is the equatorial plane and these two are the poles. Next thing which has happened here is the fibers attach to chromosomes attached to chromosomes and they start contracting in a different manner one, uh, one fiber contracts more other fiber contracts less so that the chromosomes will come at the equatorial plane interface cell with prominent nucleus and we have started with four chromosomes so our 2n is equal to 4 in early prophase, the chromatin fibers, they start to condense. Nuclear membrane is dissociating. Other membranes of ER, Golgi, they are also dissociating. The centriole, which splits during S phase, they start moving towards the opposite pole. Late prophase, from the centriole arise two types of fibers. Small, smaller fibers, which are called aster rays. Longer fibers, which are known as spindle fibers. These spindle fibers by the late prophase already attached to the chromosomes 
and start pulling those chromosomes. Two asters are there in an animal cell and that is why this division in animal cell would be called amphiastra. And this entire structure is the spindle apparatus. Now the cell is going to get into the next phase that is metaphase. So in the next part we will see metaphase.